The first beta of iPadOS 26 is here and your iPad will be more like a Mac. It has some amazing new features, some really awesome multitasking features, which will take your iPad to the next step. It is actually really amazing. And I'm kind of liking this even more than the iOS 26 update. Now in this video, I will show you guys more than 40 new features and changes that you will find on iPadOS 26. And we're starting with multitasking. Finally, you can turn your apps into windows. So you will have that little button right there, which basically allows you to resize any app into a window. Now, what's really cool about this is that the apps do adapt to their size. So you can see here we have the settings app. It is the layout that you get on the iPads where you have here the panel and you will have the settings right there. But if I go and resize it like this, you can see it kind of turns into the settings app of the iPhone on the portrait mode here. It is actually really awesome. Now right here will also have the buttons just like on the Mac where you can minimize, you can maximize, turn it onto full screen or just close the app directly from there. And what's really cool is that the app will actually remind the so whenever I launch the settings app, it will be on the size in which I have left it like this. If I left it like this, close the app, come back, it will still be on this same size. Now, what's really cool is that you can basically swipe them away. You can work on your iPad and then just bring them back here. So they will have everything that you need. All your windows will be right there. Now, what's really awesome with iPadOS 26 is the new background tasks feature. So whenever you're running something, let's say you're maybe processing a movie or something like that on an app, it will process in the background. So you don't need to stay there. Let's say on iMovie or whatever you're using, you don't need to stay on the app. It will process in the background, which is actually really awesome. Now, another cool thing will be this menu bar that Apple has added to the apps. As you can see right there, if I just swipe like this, that we have settings, I can tap file where I can close the window, tap on edit right here. I have the view option where I can go to search, window right there and the help as well. We can go ahead and search anything you want. This will appear on every app and of course it will change based on the app that you have opened. Now with iPadOS 26, we also get the new preview app just like on iOS 26. The app from Mac is finally here where you can manage all of your files, of course, edit your PDFs and your images, everything from your files app now will open right here. So if you open a PDF on your files app, it will open it on the preview app and you will have all the tools here, everything to browse and edit your files. Now right here we'll also have a, this side basically like a panel where you can go ahead and quickly browse your files and load any file you want into the app right here into the preview app, which is really awesome. Now another new app is the gaming app. So gaming app is new on iOS and iPad OS 26. It is really awesome. And finally, Apple has also added another app from the iPhone to the iPad, and that's the journal app. So the journal app finally made its way to iPad OS. So right here, let's go ahead and try it out. There we have the journal app. If you use it on your iPhone and you own an iPad, you can now also use the journal app on your iPad. There's also an update to the files app. Actually, a lot has been updated right here. One right there you can see now you can customize your folders with emojis and tags as well. But when you see right there, when you add tags right here from customize and tags, it will actually take the color of the tag that you add, which is pretty cool. So you can add like different icons here or even emojis. You can tap here to go to emojis or right here to add anything you want from these like different icons that you see right there. That's of course will make it much, much easier for you to find the things that you need. And of course, know what you're looking for. Now we have here like an icon view. You can also switch to a new view here. If you go to the list view, you can see we have this drop down menu. Now it makes it kind of easier for you to actually browse your folders with this drop down menu. Now, just like on iOS, 
on iPadOS as well, we have this clock and on the landscape mode, it looks really, really awesome. Now, of course, you can customize this, make it smaller or bigger, even change the colors and everything else. So as you can see right here, if we go to customize, we can make it smaller or bigger by using that grabber right there. And you will have here different, of course, colors. If you tap right there, you can go ahead and change the color and even choose to use glass or solid for the clock, which actually makes it look even better. Now, of course, you will have the new changes on the home screen as well. The new redesigned icons are really cool. I'm really liking the clock one and the camera one, both of them redesigned. They actually look really nice. Now, when you go to customize your home screen, you will see here a new menu. Like, of course, the clear icons is the option right there. And even the tinted icons have now a new way they tint. And of course, new like elements on the UI right there to tint your icons. And you will have a new button to actually switch between small and big icons. Now, one thing you can also do from the home screen is edit your home screen wallpaper. Previously, you had to do this through the lock screen. Now you can just go ahead and tap on edit wallpaper and this will allow you to edit the wallpaper of the home screen only, which is really awesome. Now, of course, the control center has been updated as well. I'm not really a huge fan of this, but most likely it will change. It looks a bit better here than it does on the iPhone. On the iPhone, it actually does look really terrible, but most likely it will change through these betas. Now on iPadOS 26, we also get a new keyboard, which in my opinion looks even better than the one from the iPhone. You can see the new style here for the keyboard, the glass in the background right there. It looks really awesome. On the Photos app, just like on iOS 26, we get the library and the collections as well. This layout is really amazing. Apple has done a great job with this on iOS and iPadOS 26. Now you will have your media types and everything here. You can hide and hide them using these like little arrows right there. And what's really cool is that now you can pin things pin and unpin things under your collections. So you will have your most important things at the top. It will be much easier for you to find them. Now the new phone app is here as well. So you will see a way different app. We have a page with everything here, everything unified. You will have your voicemail, your favorite contacts, as well as you will have your missed calls. Now right here, we'll see your recent contacts. You will have a search bar right there. And you can tap here to go to the keypad. It is actually really awesome. Now with the phone app, you also get a live translation on iPad as well. And of course, you will get the other features. There are changes to the screenshot as well, just like on iOS, on iPadOS as well. When you take a screenshot, you will see a new UI right here for cropping. You will have these two buttons right there to save and to delete a screenshot that you have taken. Now, finally, Apple has added the loop back on iOS and iPadOS on the screenshots. I don't know why they had removed this, but it's finally here. And by tapping this button, you will also add an image description to your screenshot. And when you edit one of your screenshots, you will be able to actually undo using these buttons right here. So it will have a redo and an undo button. Now talking about screenshots, when you go to your settings, under general, you will have now screen capture. You can choose to see full previews of your screenshots or not. And you will also have the ability to move to HDR screenshots, which of course will be higher in quality, but will take also more space. And right here on the multitasking is where you can switch between a full screen app and the new windowed apps that we saw right there, which is really cool. Now, if you go under accessibility, you will also find here the new accessibility reader. So read and speak, you enable it right there and you use the accessibility shortcut to actually invoke it. And it basically adds a reader mode everywhere you go on iOS. Moving here to sounds, you will find a new option for late night mode for your sounds, which is really awesome. This is available on the iPhone as well. And if you move on here to privacy and security, there is now a new section where you can see all of your block contacts, which makes it very easy for you 
to find any block contact you want. Moving on to Safari, we have a few changes here as well. Now you can see the new side, side menu right here. It looks kind of cool actually. Now if we remove this, you can see we also have a new view for the tabs right here, which is really awesome. This looks really cool. And we have also suggestions right here on the home screen. And you can see right here, new tabs as well. They actually look really cool. Now, in my opinion, Safari is one of the most like updated apps with these UIs. It actually looks really, really cool. Hopefully, Apple will do more of this on the other apps as well. Now, what we get is also new on the calculator. We have a few changes here. So let's just go to the calculator app. Now, what we get here is a button where you can go ahead and switch between different cal calculators. And now finally, the clear all button is back on the calculator app. And last but not least, moving to podcasts right here, whenever you're playing a podcast on your iPad, you will now be able to actually change the speed, but you will have way more options. So if we tap right here, we can enhance the dialogue, but we also have a more playback speeds, which is really cool. I, I think there was there have been only three, now they're like six. It's actually really amazing. Now, these are some of the new features and changes that you will find on iPadOS 26. Of course, there is more, but these are some of the main ones that I think will make your iPad much better. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Of course, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.